Hey guys, this selection box science is all about lights. Christmas lights and electric circuits. You see there are two different types of circuits, series and parallel, and we're going to work out which one's which using a selection of lights. Now, I recommend you just go up into the attic or whatever, get into the bottom of a box and find an old set of Christmas lights. First things you need to do, unplug it from the wall. So that's now safe because it's completely unplugged from the wall. And then chop off the plug. Now you can either do that with a pair of snipe nose pliers like these, or my favourite are these. They're called dinosaur pliers or dinosaur trimmers because I suppose they kind of look like a dinosaur. So just pop off your plug like that, just cut that off. Then what you need to do is find all the lights and chop on both sides of the light. So trim off one light like that, and then the next light like that. So what you'll end up with, so I've got down here, I've got the plug, and I've got a series of lights. Then you need to trim the wire on the edge of each of the lights. So I'm going to use my dinosaur trimmer, pop it in, trim, pop it in, trim. Okay, then you need to connect those four together, like this, and they look just like they did before. You see, this is a series of components, a series of bulbs. Now, I've connected together four 9 volt batteries. You've got to connect with a little wire from the positive to the negative terminal, positive to negative, positive to negative, so they work all the way around, and then connect your series of four lights onto it, like that, and they'll light up. So what's happening? While well, the electricity is coming out from the battery, it's going up that wire, through the filament of the bulb, down through that wire, through that filament, all the way down the wire, all the way around the circuit. So if one of these bulbs breaks, and I can show that by just pulling one of those out, if one of those bulbs breaks, the circuit now doesn't work. Now that's because the electricity comes up here, goes through that filament, comes down here, goes up here, and it has nowhere to go. So there is now no electricity going around that circuit. That's the problem with a series circuit. If one bulb goes, it breaks the whole circuit, and you kind of have a rubbish Christmas. That's a series circuit. The second type of circuit is known as a parallel circuit, and that's what these bulbs are here. I've got some down on the table, if I switch them on. What you've got is you've got two wires coming out from the battery pack, and they actually go to both sides of each bulb, all the way around, like that. Now what that means is you no longer have a series going bulb, wire, bulb, wire, bulb, wire. Each one's almost on its own little circuit. So, if we break one of these bulbs, it's gonna switch it off, Right, so that bulb is no longer working. So now, if I turn it on, the whole circuit still works. This bulb is broken, but those wires can keep carrying the electricity all the way around the circuit. You see, the bulb's vanished, but the wires keep going. That is the beauty of a parallel circuit. A parallel circuit works even if one of the bulbs breaks. There you go. That's a happy Christmas. So guys, dig out all your old sets of bulbs, make sure they're not plugged into the wall, dig out the wire trimmers and have a go and try to discover which of your sets of bulbs are parallel and which of your sets of bulbs are series.